Well, it's a windy spring day, and I'm going to take you on a little tour of the refurbished Breadloaf Inn. put on Facebook for all of our friends. This I will show you in a second. This is heading down toward the office. So the director's office used to be here. And this is going to be where the uh, administrative office is. And this is now a uh, community business office. Basically looking out toward the little theater right now. Okay, let's walk to the blue parlor. Mr. Battelle. Hope he likes all of this. These are the original uh, pine floors, by the way, which uh, were all uh, refinished. So this is the blue parlor with its Victorian blue wallpaper. Okay, now I'm going to show you some very new things. So we're walking past. This goes to the uh, lobby. There's the fireplace. You see that. Now, here's the new back door. And here is the new staircase. goes up, up, up to the third floor. And we've got a copy room, women's room, men's room, and an elevator. Okay, now let's go up to the uh, second floor, up these nice stairs. Looking out at the little theater. So here is a uh, typical room.
closet with shelves. Oh, and I was I was told to uh, notice these lamps, which were original to the inn, and a lot of them had kind of spread out to lots of other buildings, and so they had them all completely rewired and uh, uh, polished up and everything. So everything is uniform. So this is a typical room. Original floorboards. Now here comes another big change. Okay, so here's an, a little elevator lobby with a couple, couple of rooms. This is a new suite. This was originally called the box, and so it's directly over the lobby. And um, so it's got a, a serving area and a, a bathroom and a couple of couple of bedrooms. Nice size, though. Oh, yes. And it's sort of a non-fireplace. I'd forgotten about that up here. So this is the box. Oh, and there's a uh, state trooper up there. Hope he's not going to give me a ticket. Okay, now this is another change here, coming from what they used to call the old laundry. And I come out onto a landing above the dining hall entrance. As you will remember some of the furniture here. Old radiators. Okay, so then this is looking up. So apparently the, uh, the old bookcase that used to be here is going to be replaced after it's refinished, but here is the uh, uh, elevator access to this hallway. LED lights there, isn't that interesting? New fire escapes. Those of you who remember this hallway, so here's the ladies' room, and here's the gents' room. Okay, well that's sort of, oh, that's kind of nice there. Okay, and then the showers. Quite a different from the old bathtubs, I think. And, uh, these doors swing in and out. Very nice. So there's three showers in here now. Three showers. So let's see what's on the third floor. So this would take us to the next floor of the box. Nice little rooms. Oh, and I meant to show you the uh, heating. Got the radiant panels, and as you notice, old. Old things wherever possible. Okay. So, I'm leaving the box, going to the uh, so again, we're on the third floor.
top of the landing, looking down. Men's room and the roof access, but unfortunately it's locked. Otherwise, I take you up to the cupola. Maybe I can get a key. So, anyway. Okay, so now I'm going to walk into the dining room. Yeah. So here we are in the dining room. With an elevator access. And a revamped kitchen. This will be the uh, buffet area. Will be has been moved into the inside now for uh, salad eaters and yogurt eaters. Oh yeah. So you can see, looking out toward the uh, the back door and the west lawn. And there's the uh, little theater. So here we are at the little theater. Pretty chilly for May, I tell you. Leave the look. Pretty much the same. You don't have two things you don't need. That's it. I guess how good it is. Notice the loading dock here. Okay, looking over toward uh, the annex and the bookstore. And then there's Cherry back there.
some things, some things, however, are pretty much the same. I don't know where my tripod is going.